Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen basic definition of heat exchanger, its types and we have also seen the analysis of LMTD method for parallel flow and for counter flow. In this topic, we are going to talk about the LMTD method for the cross flow. See, we have seen the LMTD method that is the log mean temperature difference method applied for the parallel and for the counter flow. Now, in case of a cross flow, it is quite tough because whatever we have done previously is only done for a single pass. Means the LMTD expression that we have found out for the parallel flow and for the counter flow that was only given for the single pass. Now, if you want to find out for the multiple passes and for this kind of a cross flow. So for the cross flow, I have indicated one schematic diagram. So here, let's say the water inlet is there with the TW and TW in and this is a water outlet TW out. This is the air that is flowing in the cross direction that is at the 90 degrees Celsius to the that of the flow of water and the temperature of air is TA in and TA out. Now for this, what process they follow? So what they do is they simply consider the same equation of the heat transfer rate which they have considered for the counter flow heat exchanger. So in case of a cross flow, we will write down the same expression that is UA LMTD for the counter flow and we will simply multiply it with the one term now that is f now f is nothing but the correction factor we can find the correction factor for given case or for given arrangement of the heat exchangers so to find the heat factor for a given arrangement we need to find out some of the parameters so these two are the important parameter which we need to consider that is the first one is capacity ratio we indicate this by r and then the temperature ratio we indicate this by p the capacity ratio is nothing but tsi now s stands for shell side t stands for tube side similarly i is for the inlet and o is for the outlet so if you know the basic arrangement, I can find out this TSI, TSO, TTI and TTO. So if I know this temperature, I can find out the capacity ratio and the temperature ratio. You, you can see the ratios that they have given. Now this they have done by various experiment and they have found that this capacity ratio and temperature ratio, they have plotted a graph based on this. So with the graph, with the help of graph, we can find out the correction factor. So let us consider a similar case. Here in this case, we have considered both fluids are unmixed. So in this case, let's say TSI is the inlet temperature of the fluid that is coming from the shell side and so is the TSO and TTI and TTO. So these are the normal nomenclature that you can consider for these temperatures. So if I know the value of P, and the value of R that is the capacity ratio and the temperature ratio I can straight away find out the value of F this graph for the both fluid and mix where on x axis we have P and for y axis we have F then based on the value of R we have different different curves here so if I know the value of R and if I know the value of P I can straight away find the F value that is the correction factor and with this correction factor I can find out the value of Q dash using the LMTD for the counter flow. Now this diagram was simply given for the both fluid and mixes. Similarly, the other scenarios are when one fluid is mixed and the other fluid is unmixed, when one shell is there with the two, two passes and when two shell is there and there are multiple passes. So for these different different combinations, they have different figure or the different graph of f versus p so in this analysis we will select the value of r and p in such a way that the value of f stays almost equal to 0.75 or anyway 
less than 0.75. So the selection of the parameter P and R is done in this way that the value of Q dash will be equal to the 0.75 that of the same combination if we had used the counter flow addition. Now in this topic we have seen that the analysis of the cross flow is not that easy. So that is why we use the counter flow equation itself and we simply multiply it by the correction factor. And then we have seen how to find out the correction factor based on various parameter and various combinations of the type of heat exchangers. Now that is it in this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.